the very chilly November kitchen folks. Today I'm going to be warming things up a little bit by cooking a pork joint in the slow cooker. So my key ingredients today are the pork joint, two sweet potatoes, two onions, two apples, two carrots and a red pepper and besides those I'll be using various herbs and spices. So I've got my big chopper out and I'm going to begin by chopping up these apples and onions. And then my apple and onion mixture goes into the slow cooker. This is going to go on the base of the slow cooker so the meat isn't touching the bottom. So I'm just going to mix it around so the apple and onion is all mixed together nicely. Then I'm going to take my pork joint and I'm going to sit it on top of the apple and onion mixture. Now I'm going to chop up the rest of my veg. So I'll start with the carrots. And then I'm going to put these around the pork joint. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with my sweet potatoes and red capsicum pepper. Right, now I'm going to add some flavours. So I've got oregano, smoked paprika, garlic salt, mixed herbs, some chilli flakes, some salt, some whole grain mustard and some golden syrup. It's going to be a flavour bomb. So I'll begin with the salt and I'm just going to give it a shake all over. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the rest of the dry herbs and spices. I'm not measuring this, I'm just doing it visually. So I've got whole grain mustard and I'm going to get a couple of teaspoonfuls of that on top. Pork and mustard does go wonderfully well together. And I just want to smear that on top of the joint. And then finally the sweetness by the golden syrup, which I'm going to squeeze generously all around there. Just let it keep going around in circles. Believe you me, sweetness works so well when you're doing a dish like this. It really brings the flavours of the vegetables out and it complements everything else. Next, I'm going to add a pint of water around the edges. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. So the lid goes on and that fits nicely. I want to put this on high and it's going to cook on high for the first hour and then I'm going to turn it down to medium for an hour and then I'm going to leave it on low then for a good three or four hours. So I'm going to come back to you with an update when this is going. See you in a bit. Okay an hour has passed you can see that there is definitely some build up of heat and steam in there. I don't want to take the lid off because I need to keep that in there and I need to keep the heat constant so I'm now going to turn this down to medium. I'm going to leave it for another hour and then I'll turn it down to low. Okay, it's been another hour on medium. What I'm going to do now before I turn it down to low is I'm actually going to flip the joint over. So I'm just going to get the lid off and this might go very steamy on the camera. Oh, it smells delicious. You can really smell the uh, peppers actually that have come through from that. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm sorry about the steaming. There's not much I can do about it. You can see the bone now in the bottom of the joint, just there. Fox is going to enjoy that tomorrow, our local garden fox. Okay, so now I've flipped it, I'm just going to add a little bit more golden syrup on this end. I want to add a few more herbs. And a bit more whole grain mustard. And I want that to really flavour the meat. I want it to get in there. Okay, that'll do. So lid goes back on. And this is now going to go down to low. And I'm going to leave this on low now for five hours. So I'll get back to you in five hours time when I'm looking forward to eating it. Okay, it's five hours later. Let's have a look. Steamy. It smells absolutely wonderful. Okay, what I want to do now is get the joint out of there. 
can see, pop it in this bowl. I'm just going to stir this veggie around in there. And I'm actually going to cheat a little and add a few gravy granules into here just to help it thicken a bit. I could have used flour, but this is the quick option. And if I just mix that in like so, that's already beginning to thicken. And all I need to do now is put the lid on and leave it. So here's my pork joint and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off there and pop it onto this chopping board and I want to remove the fat now from the joint. Okay so I'm just going to cut like so. It's very very tender. I'm not wanting to get the meat just the fat off the edge and you can see the back of the joint is pretty much fat free. So there's the fat. From that I'm going to make pork crackling in my air fryer but I now want to strip the bone of the meat so there is bone down the middle and I want to get that meat off the bone. It's cut in really nicely. So on the chopping board there is the fat, there's the bones and in the bowl here is the good stuff that's the meat and the meat is going to go back inside the slow cooker like so just on top okay so I'm going to turn the slow cooker off and I'm going to serve this in about half an hour's time Hello Foxy. Hello. Yeah, look what I've got for you. Come on Foxy, there you take that. There you go. I think it's safe to say that Foxy's enjoying that. Okay folks, it's time to dish up. Here it is. Kept the heat. So let's get into that. Oh, look at that. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's lovely. Come on. You can't deny that that looks a bit tasty. And certainly on a autumn cold evening, that's going to be a right warmer. Oh, steam's getting to me. Right, moment of truth. I'm try some veggies first. Mmm. Oh, that gravy. That is so rich. So massively flavoursome. Winner, winner. Right, bit of meat. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. Really good. And I'm looking at this bowl and I can see mustard seeds everywhere. And that flavour really comes out. Mmm. Absolutely banging. Okay, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the film. I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Mmm. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Home and Garden production. You can find more by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk I'd just like to say thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel and for watching my films. It really is very much appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to receive future updates about the Home and Garden films which I upload. You can find my YouTube channel by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk Please click on the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you press that also, then you'll get future updates about the films which I upload. If you like my films, if you like my style of filming, then you might also like my travel channel, which you will find by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss or typing www.mosstravel.tv 
Again, if you could subscribe to that channel, it would be hugely appreciated. If you'd like to get Moss Home and Garden updates on Facebook, then please open Facebook and do a search for Moss Home and Garden and you will find the page. If you like the page, then you will get future updates on there. And if you'd like to connect on Instagram for home, garden and travel photography, as well as some stories, then my username is Stu Moss, S-T-U-M-O-S-S. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, then my username is at Stuart Moss. And if you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on stewmosshomegarden at gmail.com. Once again, thank you very much for supporting my channel, for watching my films. I do appreciate it. I'd just like you all to have a great day.